Lord has brought to each one of us. And this salvation, we have to take care of it. We begin to understand God brings salvation into our lives. Though we are sinners, though we have lost the glory, though we have gone away from Him, by only because of one reason, because He is love. First John chapter 4, verse 7 onwards we read, God is love. And he who lives in love, lives in God. It is not that we loved him, but it is because first he focused on us and he loved us. We read in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 7 to 8. Maybe a good man may die for another good man. But while we are still sinners, God loved us and showed us what is love means. Yes. That's why we always sing that beautiful game. Love it was that made us and love it was that saved us love was God's plan when he made man God's divine nature is love born of God love we must love him God is love and because of love he became a man for us because of love he saved us he redeemed us no other reason not that he doesn't have enough angels to praise him or to serve him not because of what we do to him he is going to get little more extra glory no. He created us in love. Sometimes we go out of ourselves. No other reason. Because of love. The mother hugs the baby even though the baby has done some mistake. Because the mother thinks of the baby. The mother knows about the baby. A girl made a blunder and failed in the exam. I called the mother and asked her, tell your daughter to work hard and study. The mother kept silent. I asked her, don't you understand your responsibility to tell your daughter? No, father. This is not the time. My daughter is so depressed. If I say something more, she may end her life. That is her status. This is not the time. The mother knows. Mother knows the child has failed. Mother knows the child has not done the responsibility. Mother knows the child has destroyed the money the time, everything, one year off. But still mother says, this is not the time. Definitely I will tell, but not now. Now my daughter is so depressed, so frightened, so worried that what we will do for her, this is not the time. This time she needs love. She needs a revival. She has to come back to her normal sense. Otherwise, she will do foolish things. Love. Love goes beyond discipline. Love goes beyond even oneself. Yes. 
that's what god did for you and me he did the foolish things that the world says dying on the cross for us god almighty could have finished up those evil people no he continued to love there is a scientist in ekrisa patanjir once i had gone there and uh, he was doing some experiment and he got very good crop they were doing in maize uh, who will produce the best maize so six scientists were given one acre of land and this particular scientist mr sunny his name a catholic man from kerala and he produced more and i asked sunny what is the secret the land is same the availability water urea whatever they want they can take from the store but i was told you used less of all those things still you got more crop what is the real secret he was telling most of the people were trying to worried about the weeds because i do pluck the weeds first but before they were all worried they brought they were worried about the medicine to keep the weed the weeds down and not allow the weeds to come back again and uh, but i was more concerned about strengthening the weed so i was trying to give manure to the weed i was trying to give how much water what time the weed needs if i give full water it will become a paddy but it's wheat so how much water we have to give only that much i was concerned about its growth of the wheat and i was taking care of the field yes god loves us though we have fallen in sin though we have destroyed those we are wounded he is concerned about us in not that he does not know about our sin not that he does not know about, about our fall not that he does not know uh, about our failure our irresponsibility but he is concerned about us he is concerned about his children we read in the book of genesis chapter 3 god created man in his goodness it's true genesis 1:26 god blessed man and gave the ability to produce more to fill this earth to subdue the nations it's true genesis 1:28 god breathed into man his own breath it's true genesis 2:7 but when man sinned because the evil came and cheated him cheated eve and through eve adam and they have fallen in sin and they come to realize that the wages of sin is death the first thing that brought to them is shame the second thing that brought them is to blame each other to hurt each other the lord they were not facing each other the, they were made for each other they became enemies that's what the sin will do because there is a power behind the sin the power of evil that tries to take us away from god and away from one another and when sin entered into their lives 
they felt naked they felt shameful they had no courage to stand before god to face the problem to face the challenges not to return to god sin will not allow us to return to god sin will bind us yes sin will make us to be bondage but god's love cannot be stopped by our sin human sin has no capacity to stop the love of god because god's love is stronger than man's fault as light is stronger than darkness that's why god said to jeremiah in the book of jeremiah chapter 7 verse 8 will not those who have fallen get up again will not those who have lost their way find their way again i am the lord your god yes the love of the lord as we read in the book of lamentation chapter 3 verse 20 to 22 the love of the lord never fails his mercy is new every morning 